Hey everyone, it is Monday, and normally you'd hear me say welcome to the troubleshooters, but um, we had some people that were going to be out tonight uh, due to studying schedules and things like that, so instead you're going to be joined by these two hooligans. I have Steve, who is fun conscious, you can see him on, God, what nights are you on now, Thursday nights? Wednesday. Wednesday, Wednesday nights. Wednesdays with JT as the DM playing in False Gala Nights. Uh, Otter, you know, as Moonin, as well as Emerald and various other people from <laughs> Monday, Thursday, and Sundays, uh, as well as the guy who runs all the shenanigans in the background. So we are going to be actually playing a game tonight called Card Hunter. It is free. It is on Steam, and you can play it. Um, it's a lot of fun. It's actually really easy to get into, even if you're not familiar with, like, deck building games and card based RPGs. It's still it's still just a really easy one to slip into. Um I got through the tutorial in like less than less than 30 minutes or so. Uh so it's a lot like I said it's easy to play. Announcements. Uh well as you can see we are not doing this tonight, but tomorrow night Jason will be back. 
running uh, World at War, which is Scion. And then we have more on Wednesday night with JT playing running Falskall and Knights, where you again can see my buddy Steve here. Wave, wave to the camera, Steve, one more time. There you go. <laughs> um, if you've been with us for any length of time, you can recall that Steve was actually in my very first campaign right here on Dire Bear, Foundations of Adalar, and his monk was amazing. Uh, especially when he pulled this thing where it's like a thousand of them running up the stair or running down the staircase to like slap somebody in the face. It was just awesome. But <laughs> last weekend was Free RPG Day, so if you have not did not get a chance, go by your local gaming store and see if they have any remainder books. I have all of the quick start guides, and it was a stack like that big, literally like that big. And not the the quick start guides are usually not that thick; they're like yeah that. I ran Humblewood, and I got to play a little bit of Drag uh, Dungeon Crawl Classics. Dungeon Crawl Classic should be something that we run here one evening just because it's stupid fun. You create a zero-level character and then pray that one of the four you created makes it through. <laughs> That's pretty much all it is. You have things like the most HP you can have is like seven. And if it's, that's if you have a high stamina and you rolled a four on your D4 hit points. But generally speaking, most things don't make it out of the zero level. I ended up with all four of mine making it through just because I was crafty and pushed everybody else in front. Um, free RPG weekend was a lot of fun. Um, they gave away some really cool stuff as part of it. Uh, look for WizKids new edition. So you guys have heard me talk about Warlock tiles and how much I love them. They released their frameworks are coming out soon. And it is a little different because it's not like with like warlock tiles, which are interlocking and you can take them apart. These are specific settings. They come with a map that is detached from the item that you're putting together and it can be punched out from the sprues and added. And the miniature that comes with it, which was a hag, she actually is punched out through sprues and have different hand positions and different things she's holding in her hands and different things that you can add to the pot. And it's like if you've ever played with any of the Warhammer miniatures where you can modify the arms and the hands and the positions and things like that, this is the same thing. Warlock, or excuse me, WizKids is considering coming out with a lot more of these. Um, so that way we people can get the design of the character to match what their idea is. Uh, so we'll see how successful that is and look for those to be in your favorite local gaming store here soon. Uh, let's see. Wednesday nights, Thursday nights. I, uh, did, we haven't taken a hiatus, so we should be back this coming Thursday, if I'm not mistaken. Now, Saturday and Sunday are still on their break. However, I do have it under good authority, that being the DM as well as the players. Sunday, October 31st, which is Halloween. There will be a game running that evening. Um, so guys come and check them out as they're having fun, getting ready to go back into season two for, uh, for Varenheim. So we that... have been told nothing about this one shot oh. that we're doing for Halloween, other than the fact that it will be considered world canon for later in the campaign. That is all we know. That's excellent. Um, mm -hmm. One of the things that I like about Free RPG Day is that it gives me a chance to see, view, and play with some different RPGs. Now, Humblewood I've ran and played before, and I've ran and played Dungeon Crawl Classic. But one of the ones that I picked up was called Victoriana Underground, and it's a, it is specifically designed to be Victorian-era London with all of the the trappings of an RPG with magic and stuff like that. And it looks very much like something that I would really be interested in seeing if I can apply it and run it. Because from what I read of it, I really like the setting and the rule set seem really interesting too. So um, there's a lot of stuff that came out. If you can't find it right at your local gaming store, there is a lot of the resources online, which I found that Humblewood... Not only do they have free character sheets, there are like two or three adventures in there that you can download for free. 
the resources are free from Humblewood.com. And one of the reasons that I keep talking about it is because whenever they dropped Humblewood, they just had Humblewood, and you just had the avian, the bird folk, and you just had the few humble folk. With the announcement and the reason that they were pushing it again for this uh, free RPG day was because they're coming out with Humblewood 2. Uh, Humblewood 2 is an expansion to the original campaign setting that includes an area called the Tanglewood. It introduces the idea that bird folk are avian, but they have like family or genus kind of things. So in this one, you got to play as a parrot or a maca- uh, macaw. Yeah, not a macaque because that's a monkey, but <laughs> or a, an ape, uh, but a macaw and a very colorful macaw at that. And uh, it was called like it was a luma, but it was called a Sita luma. So it had more. They also introduced two new races within this campaign or this little adventure. One is the Ellerin, which is the cat race that they basically hinted at the very beginning of the adventure within the Humblewood book. So they actually have the Ellerin fully fleshed out and the Ellerin fully fleshed out. And the other one that they kept mentioning, I kept seeing it called Tilia. And I was like, what is that? And they described it, but I never saw a picture until I like flipped further in there. Tilia is a reptile, specifically lizard. And in this game, it was a gecko. And they have the ability called Sticky Tongue. And they have all these really cool things that they can do. So look forward to that sometime in 22, because that is when they were talking about the release of it. Speaking of things that are being released... In 22, some of you may have heard me mention the um, upcoming adventure, um, the upcoming gift set that they have. It's going to have Tasha's, Xanathar's, and a new Morgan Kanan Presents Monsters of the Multiverse. That is coming out in January. They announced in March of 22, and I don't know if this is the next big book. I'm, I'm... I'm of two minds on this, but the next adventure module that they're releasing is called Netherdeep, and it is a critical role-inspired adventure. Uh, I, I, from that, it makes me think that it takes place in uh, Exandria. Here's where I'm of two minds. They have the crossover from Magic the Gathering. We already have the Wild Mount book that came out from an officially published by Wizards of the Coast. And the Magic the Gathering crossovers, those books just don't do as well as the familiar settings of Forgotten Realms. Even Eberron didn't do as well, but like any of the Curse of Strahd, the Ravenloft books that they've dropped, Icewind Dale book that they've dropped, you know, Rhyme of the Frostmaiden, Candlekeep Mysteries, all of the books that are still set with place and is well known seem to do well and the thing is is that this is a passion and a hobby and a career and a living for me but i want them to be successful as well so that they they keep producing this and i just i I hate to see effort put into a book that i just don't know if it's going to do as well as what they hope it will that being said that doesn't mean i think it's going to be a failure i don't know i quit watching um Crit Roll in like 2018, about several, a few months after I started Dire Bear. Uh, and the reason is, is because it was messing with me mentally. It was like I was wanting to be there, realizing that they came with a lot of clout and it kind of put a damper on me. And for a moment there, I was like, should I even do this? Um, so I had to take and pull away from that. People who love Critical Role love Critical Role, and I have no problem with that. I want nothing but success for anybody who gets into this. I want everybody to have a seat at the table and succeed. Not everybody has that attitude, and that's okay. But that's my attitude towards it. I just don't want to see all that effort get put into something that may or may not be a successful, especially whenever the UA that they just dropped, the Unearthed Arcana, was all about Travelers of the Multiverse. And it released the races such as the Astral Elf, there's an ooze folk in there. There is a, a primate folk in there. 
the Thrycreen are added. There's just a lot of options. And if you haven't checked it out, definitely go check check out the Unearthed Arcana. Uh, it looks great, and I'm excited for it because that means that Spelljammer, I know I've been saying it for like two years now, but Spelljammer hopefully will be down the line, and I would really love to see that. Um, the last bit of news that I have is, if nobody saw it last week on the 14th, Panel from Hell 4 was out. And that was detailing patch six, which normally they do the panel for hell from Larry and Studios about Baldur's Gate 3. Uh, they do the panel from hell, and then a couple days later they drop the patch. Not so. They did the panel from hell, and while they were doing the panel from hell, they dropped the patch so that everybody could upload it and start playing immediately. And it added a new class, the Sorcerer, and I have been playing it, and it is a lot of fun. The Wild Mage is great the way that they do it because you never know when it's going to go off, just like you should. And it's, so far, it's just a lot of fun from what I've been playing. They also added in uh, some just um, slice of life stuff, uh, encumbrances there, and that's been in there for a minute. One of the things that they added was they added a uh, facial graphic upgrade when you are bloody or whenever you are dirty from fighting and stuff like that, your character's face is actually patched in dirt and stuff like that. So when you take your rest, they clean up. But other than that, the game has also got it added in a huge new area called the Grim Forge. Um, and so I'm looking forward to playing in that, and I'll probably start trying to stream some of that when I get there. Anyways, in the meantime, enough of all that. I would normally go, snap, welcome to the Troubleshooters. But instead, I'm going to go, <laughs> welcome to Card Hunters. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. So we got through the tutorial. So we are all through the tutorial. We're all roughly mm -hmm. level one, level two characters. And yeah, my, my cleric is level one, so. Yep. So we are going to head to the Wizard's Workshop, which is our first encounter here. Okay. And now. No, I don't want to leave my team. No. Who's driving this cart full of monkeys? <laughs> Me. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I'm like looking at my screen. And I'm just still like three dudes in a flag. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. Once I actually start on my screen, it'll prompt mm -hmm. you guys to pull you in. A wizard awesome. seeks you out with an unusual offer of employment. Liberate his home from his crazed magical constructs. Follow. Oh Are you guys seeing the prompts on your side at the top of the screen? Mm -hmm. From this Gary? adventure will teach you the importance of armor. Pay attention, and you may just learn something. Perfect. <laughs> yes, I love Gary, the uh, the guy who's teaching us all this. Metallic monstrosities by your way. They are out of control and no longer serve their master. They've got a lot of HP. Yeah, they do. Since I've got of... no weapon. <laughs> Just so you know. <laughs> you got a simple strike. Yeah, I mean, that's sure, but everybody gets a simple strike because it's part of your boots. <laughs> okay, so for... The way um, co-op works, usually when mm -hmm. you play the game, you can select cards from any of your three characters any during your turn. But mm -hmm. since we are each playing different characters, let's say I don't want to go first. I can hit next player, and it will pass it to Steve, and so on uh -huh. and so forth. If all three of us skip, and the other team skips as well, it will end the round. So be careful okay. how you use your skips. But if one of our teammates has a better strategy or better card they can play, you can hand it off to that person so they can do it immediately. Okay, great. Yeah, so, uh, very helpful to know. Yeah, no, th this is both you guys' first time playing, so I will kind of throw some information out there as it comes up. 
Let's see here. <laughs> so one of them is clumsy. All right. So if you look at the guy up here at the top, if you hover over him and right click, it will magnify any of the cards that are attached to them so you can read what they do. Same thing for any of the cards in your hand. If you want an up-close view of it, you can right-click on it and it will enlarge them for you. Oh! Hi, everybody! Oh, boy. Um, <laughs> you better do something amazing. I'm, I'm gonna slap them. Yeah. Okay. There's eight. Get him, nice. Steve. Well, your mistake was walking into range. I can't do shit. <laughs> I'm going to move forward and hope for the best. Yeah. One damage. Get him. Here goes. Hard to ah. block. Uh, okay, here we go. I'm going to try to hit him with this. Nope. Hey, I got one, one point of damage on him. Yay. And so I'll pass to Steve. It's better than nothing. Eh? Hey, hey, you got him. All right. Uh, I got nothing, so. Yep. So I will pass to Steve. Mm -hmm. And now it'll end the round. We all draw a new hand of cards and go through that again. Awesome. Hey, look, I got my healing pulse this time if we need it. Frenzy for you is a very good card. Yeah, I know. It's why I was looking forward to it. Uh, I'm gonna throw that on you when it comes time. Yeah, you're more than welcome to. I don't have much All to right. hit him with this round, but we'll see what happens. you're gonna take one damage. Are you okay with that? Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna take and throw that healing pulse on you as well. That'll actually hit all of us. Okay, cool. So when it comes my turn. Well, I'm going to pass. It's like, it's like, I don't think you can do anything, really. Yeah, no. So, yeah, that'll give everyone within three squares of you two health. So that gets everybody. Yeah, it's better than nothing. Yeah. Now, where you're facing is important. So, mm -hmm. like you went through, you don't want people hitting you in the back. But mm -hmm. if you have extra movement cards, what you can always do is click the square you're standing on. And then... Pick which way you're facing. Oh, oh, man. He moved into range for you to actually hit him this time, Steve. He wants he wants to come for that wizard. <laughs> <laughs> he wants that elf on a stick. Oh! Get him. Uh, I'm going to walk. Uh, I'm going to walk right there. I'm going to try and get behind him with that frenzy. Okay. All right. Uh, I got nothing. End the round. Hey, now we got some attacks. Yeah, buddy. Stab. Oh, frenzy. All right. <laughs> he said nope. <laughs> <laughs> he did not like that out at of there. all. <laughs> oh. He said, "Owie." I'm just gonna stand here and try to hit him. Nope. Oh, super nope. <laughs> well, come here. <laughs> Why are you running? <laughs> Get. Oh, 
Well, now they're just turning. Oh. Oh. oh, yes! That's a good All one. Right. Nice. That frenzy is going to work. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Boom. Nice. Down I don't three. have anything to hit him. Sorry, I don't have anything to hit him with. Oh, that's okay. Yep. We've got we've got him pretty pinned right now. What is that? How long does that frenzy last? Six rounds? Uh, the the unholy frenzy will last for yeah. two rounds. So the round. Oh, okay. So it's it just the second one. Yeah. So it's done with now. Yes. Oh. Give him the business. Oh yeah, turn you back to me. That's fine. some Papa Manchu pizza. It should be here soon. Uh, yes, the game does have a subscription if you would like to purchase it. It gets you a little mm, bit of yes. extra loot at the end of each of the missions. That's why this is grayed out here. But it is not mandatory to play the game. That's excellent. Um, did I get anything to equip? Nope. Pizza! Continue. Oh boy, the pizza's here. One large with tofu and pineapple. <laughs> That's right. Hey, Carl. With extra tofu. Oh, <laughs> no. Oh. oh, he just nerd like... Oh. oh, it gets so much worse the more you get into the game. <laughs> oh, that's sad. They 100% they go right up that trope. Oh, <laughs> encounter. These crude flying machines are ungracious hosts and do not welcome you here. <laughs> oh, goody. So, we got two more of those golems and an ornithopter. Two of them. Oh, yeah. Um, All right. I'm going to hang out and see what they do. Yeah. You know, not face away from them. <laughs> That's fair. I'm going to, um... I'm going to throw that unholy frenzy on again. Go for it. Hey, no, 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 no. No sneaking up behind me. <laughs> um, well, while I have this, do you want me to go after the one behind us or start charging the people in front of us? Ooh, that's a good question. Uh, go for the one, go for the ones in front of us. Okay. This is where things get into strategy. How do we want to mm -hmm. deploy ourselves? Yeah, yeah, like I think I think your best bet would be to move between those two pillars. You know what I'm saying? Uh like right next to me? Yeah, right next to you, so that way at least you've only got, you know. Uh the line of sight is it's a it's a T, so I could still get hit by a few things there. What I might do is move mm -hmm. 
up one to get into range of both of these guys here. Okay. Because if I go in between the pillars, they could technically flank me. That's fair. But if I go here... What? He tried to light me on fire. He tried to light what a jerk. You tried to light me on fire. Uh, Alright, I'm going to move... Right here. Ow. And on my Ow. next go round, I'm gonna go ahead and throw um the healing pulse. Yeah, I think I'm gonna throw the healing pulse out there. Okay. What do you think? Should I be getting in the corner or something? Cause maybe with that barrel in that pillar, but you know that barrel behind you in that pillar there. You know what I'm saying? Like so? Enough to give you some space away from yeah. the fellas. Oh, what is this? No. Okay. Uh, what was what was that called? That was Razor Chop was the Battle of Buzzsaw. Yeah. Jeez. I got nothing. Same. On the on the bright side, the Thopter right next to you is at five. Yeah. He's almost dead. Yeah. yeah. Well, I got nothing, so pass. Come on, give me something useful. All right, there you go. A couple of bludgeons. Um, I'm just going to outright kill the Thopter. Yeah, go for it. Oof. I don't have a healing pulse this time around. No, oh, oh, hey, no! Okay. Bad touch! Hello. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh. I'm feeling kind of woozy. <laughs> <laughs> The one on top has two life left, or two health. Yep. I'm gonna let you didn't take him. What's that? I didn't have line of sight. Are you yeah. good now? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go for one of these. I don't think the Thopter has any armor, but the I'm gonna hit the Thopter. Yeah, I'm just going to start hitting the Thopter. Get him. Oh, no. One, one hell. <laughs> and I got nothing. I'll pass when it comes back to me. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and hit the... I'm going to leave that walk there. Dude. I think he just what? killed his teammate. He did. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Oh, no. You're not looking too hot there, friend. Yeah, I know, and I don't really have anything. I'm going to move. Um. I got what a is lot of nothing. this? A righteous frenzy, their faith, so frenzy two, duration one. So, for a singular round, you can do mm -hmm. frenzy on somebody. Oh, interesting. Okay, so 
So I would not frenzy me as I don't really have any attacks. No, no, I'm going to hold on to it, though. Yeah. Yeah. That's all I got. All right, I'm going to pass. So when the round ends, you have to discard to two cards. Yeah. Points. Yep. I'm going to get rid of those. Oh, God, this is not looking good. Well, I could do a whole lot of damage to something if you give me the yeah. razzle dazzle. All right, if you'll pass it to me, yeah. I can give you the old razzle dazzle. Could I still pass or no? Yep, you can absolutely. Mm hmm. I mean, I could also just do the Ember Spray since the guy's in range. I just don't and... want to interrupt anything. No, you're good. As long as... Yeah, no. Light him on fire. God, I wish I had a healing thing right now. Oh, he passed. What's up, fella? Oh... Oh, 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 it sucked to be him. It makes me discard the oldest card in my hand, but it does 10 damage. Mm -hmm. You got line of sight on him? Mm hmm. I'm just going to look at him. He said he turned around. <laughs> Yeah. He just said, let it happen. Just, <laughs> he turned around. Just, just, he just, just turned his back and said, just hit me. Just, just hit do me. it. <laughs> oh. hey. There we go. He just, he just oh. turned his back. Oh, I just know how this is going to end. Oh, my gosh. Hey, what's up, Griselta? Hello, Triselta. Huh. Alright, okay. let's see what we got. Can I give you, like, if I get something that I can't use, can I give it to one of you? No. That's the, sad. The loot is randomized. So you'll get stuff for all three of the classes. Usually when you play single player, you can distribute it accordingly. But for co-op, mm -hmm. you usually it drops or you go to the store. Okay, so we're at... We're going to fight an enormous bronze golem. Love oh. But I believe it is only Encounter. the Encounter! Yes. He's got a lot of HP, though. Yes, he does. <laughs> I'm gonna just take one step. <laughs> <laughs> and he also takes just one step. I'm gonna distract him. I'm gonna get close enough to damage both of us. I'm gonna stab him from over here. Armor mm -hmm. four. Thought oh, you were gonna stab geez. him. No. <laughs> it's not very reliable armor. He has to roll at least a five. But, oh boy, yes, I think I need a bigger spear. Ah! Oh, God, no, stop it. <laughs> I can't do anything from here. Please don't die. I'm <laughs> gonna try not to. He oh, does. no. Yeah, can't reach. Oh, just too far. Ember spray, ember spray either. Oh, no. 
Uh, just we're gonna the range it too. Uh, hey. We're gonna try to do something before I go out like a punk. Oh, I gotta have to go. Get out of there. Do you see what cards I have? I have nothing. Well, yikes. I guess. Staff. Ah! Oh no. Oh! Hi. <laughs> he said hello, friend. Run, Steve, <laughs> run! I mean, I could also get him with the fire blast. You could, but he's been hitting for four or five at a time. True, but you said that the Ember Spray has a range of two? It does. You yeah, can but go it only just, does one damage. You can, I mean, it, yeah, but it also puts a fire on him. Yep. Oh, it does. that's right. I forgot about that. Yes. It'll do one damage over, well, one damage per turn for two more rounds. <sighs> If you already clicked move, you could just go two squares behind him and just light him up with fire. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I got nothing. Well. I'm gonna act as a decoy. Hey, fella. Oh, you're in range of my fire blast now. Didn't stop me, but you know. <laughs> Just so I, you know, it didn't didn't change the plan. I knew what I was doing. <laughs> Get him. Oh. Still did one. Yeah, it did. Well, uh, sorry. That's okay. I'll move out of the way at the start of the round. Come on, good attack. Come on, healing pulse. Ooh. Oh my god, nothing. I'm gonna get Eesh. out of here. He got he has clumsy on him again. Yeah, he does. Yeah. Hey, you can get your sparks now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's got three of those now. Jeez. Dude. Oh, he wants Hi. some help. He, he stepped right up to you. I can't believe it's not Elf. Run, I'm, friend. I'm just going to pass it to Steve. Run, hey, friend. Bye. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> Do something amazing, friend. Um... He has three of those armors up there. He does. That's all he has. Oh. But he has to roll a five on the die for them to actually block. Ooh. Steve. Good job. Good job, Steve. <laughs> the clutch. Victory. Yes. Nickname you Clutch. <laughs> With your hey. final blow explodes into a shower of cogs and gears. I, I read that as eggs and gears at first. You know, it, it could be egg power. We don't know. <laughs> Alright, I'm not level two yet, but I can I've got something that can do healing. What is this? Hold on. Heal four. Healing is applied after, so it does two damage, but then it heals four. 
<laughs> what is that? What? Unreliable Mis- heal? Misguided healing. <laughs> yes. Oh, man, that's fantastic. I like it. Woohoo! Uh, If I do that, it gets rid of all the frenzies. So this is the rare item shop, which we just unlocked. And then the chest and barrel is open. My renown is up. Woohoo! Buy a chest. Try your luck on a magnificent chest. Don't mind if I do. I have five pizza slices. My chest had nothing I can use. But hey, it's good for, for later. All right, let's try that magnificent chest. Daylight Corona, level 21. Well, that'll I be got, a while. I got an FGX fusion rifle. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yep. You, you, you get into some laser type weapons in the later. That's game. amazing. They're really cool until they're not because they have like a. Uh, it's like a fail chance when you use it. Mm hmm. And if they don't work according to plan, there's critical malfunctions, which would be the equivalent of dropping a fireball on yourself. Oh, God. When they work, they're amazing. But when they don't, oh boy, please have armor ready to go, because it hurts. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to go to the ra- to the armor store here. Yeah, I would go grab yourself some items. If you can grab anything to get you some more heals or utility. Yeah, how do I... Can I toggle... You can filter by item type in the shops. On your character sheet, if you click yeah. the item or the item slot, it will filter oh, the I got it. to those items. Alright, cool. Thank you. Absolutely. How would you like me to start killing things with fire? I mean... Preferably not including myself, but I'm I mean, all for it. <laughs> it's the floor is lava, and oh my! I, I'm all for fire wizards. It Wait, is sorry. So I'm combustible if I take that. That I don't know if I like that. So read the combustible card. It is a trait. What happens is when you draw it, it attaches to you for whatever the duration is, and what that what it does is you take more fire damage during those couple rounds. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> Some PDA on camera. Well, kind of PDA. It was like from the Fey world. It was like flickering in and out of existence. <laughs> well, we're going to spend 20 on a new shield. Which doesn't leave me a whole lot left for anything else. So we got stabs and bludgeons. Yeah, I think I'm going to stick with those weapons for now. And then you guys let me know when you're ready, and we'll head to the Yellow. Cavern of the Troglodytes. Cavern o Troglodytes. Oh my goodness, everything in the daily deal is so expensive. Yeah. I'm looking at some armor for myself, hang on. Well, 
since I'm going to just be playing the fighter, I'm going to get rid of anything that is not fighter. Uh oh. Oh, can't sell Wait. items yet. Never yeah, mind. Yeah, I was going to say, is there a place to sell them? Uh, I think we have to hit like level 10. No, oh, Lord. To sell items to the shop that you've been accumulating. Other than treasure, it looks like. Yeah, you can sell treasure at any time. All right, looks like that's as uh, good as I'm going to get. Like any RPG, you don't start off too crazy strong. That, that's for sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I've got more healing pulses now, thanks to the weapon that I've picked up. Nice. So, yeah, so I've got some more heals now, and uh, I'm like five away from level two. All right, let's roll. I'm good to go. Cavern. Oh, I didn't look at the Ren Rendemar's rarities. You can go check it out real quick before I hit go, if you'd like. Yeah, please. I just want to see what's in here. Yeah. A lot of expensive gear. I can't. Yeah, I was like, shit, I can't afford any of this stuff. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, we're good. <laughs> I saw it and I was like, nah, we're good. <laughs> hmm. I think... Again, for those of you who didn't catch it earlier or just came in, we're playing a game called Card Hunters. This is uh, a multiplayer game and it is free on Steam right now. So you can pick it up from, from Steam for free. Uh, it's a lot of fun. It's easy to get into. It is multiplayer. So, uh, Carl, if you're still watching, this would be something that you and Aurora could play. It'd be a lot of fun. So we're fighting Trogs. Nimble Trogs. Yes. Encounter. Okay. Okay. That prompt is super important for everybody. They are spear wielders, <laughs> so they have reach. So they will try and keep a distance of two to keep stabbing you. Okay, good to know. I'm going to head down over her. <laughs> yeah. Well then. Uh, Come on down. I'm going to make them come Oh, jeez. <laughs> that hurt. You got any of your big hits out? I can hit them from distance. I can get over there and put Frenzy on you. Yep. I can hit, With Frenzy, I could hit him for five. Or I can put Frenzy on Steve, who can hit him for seven. Uh, frenzy for magic. It will increase melee damage by two. It will increase magical damage by one. Oh, okay. So it's better. To, so either way. Yeah, it's just it's just letting you know that it does work for both, but there is different ratios. Right on. With that being said, sorry, I've got frosting on my face. Hey. <laughs> I had a cupcake. Can't go wrong with some snacks. You know, and they're good cupcakes. Mm -hmm. Okay. With that being said, so my choices right now are five points if I throw it on you, or six points if I throw it on Steve. Yep. Steve Let's would go for have to maximum. get a little bit closer. Mm -hmm. but, but I'd give it to Steve. He could outright kill the one in front of him. Especially if I give him some razzle dazzle. 
Ooh. So they have no attacks left this round, so you can just get in there and mess them up, Steve. All right. If you. And they are hey. they able to attack if I'm right next to them? Thank you for the raid. Hey, thanks for the raid, OG Brown Sugar. Appreciate that. Say again, Steve. I'm sorry. Uh, can they attack me if I'm right next to them? If they have an attack card, which if, they don't. If you He's look up at the top of the screen, you can actually see how many cards are in their hand. They've only got the one armor I... card right now. And I'm just going to hang out and let Steve do the thing. Fun. Ooh. Oh. I'd hit the other one with the 10. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah. I'm going to nope. try and take this other one out, though. Do it. I mean, uh, but it's 5, though. It's 5, but you're guaranteeing that you're going to kill it because you're doing 7. Yeah, but you're going to be doing two. 6. Right. 6 points six, of damage. 6, yeah. Alright, fair enough. Even if the armor saves, he dies. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Shoved him back. Whoopsies. <laughs> oh, he passed. Hmm. Oh, boy. I've got the overswing. <laughs> I've got unholy frenzy. Okay, we're, we're doing that. Ways. Yeah. We're gonna throw unholy frenzy on you. That'll work. You don't even you actually you don't need unholy frenzy on you, do you? It's just overkill at that point, unless he has another yeah. hide in his hand. Well, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to hit this. And he does. He has another hide up there. Tough hide. Yeah, but he's got one card that's flipped down. It could be another one. And that's true. Um, I'm going to just kind of get up in his business. That's <laughs> my Why are you running? <laughs> Why are you running? I'm gonna I'm gonna do one damage to you. Sorry, buddy. That's okay. Go get him. <laughs> Go get him, killer. I am just outside of range. Yeah, you're right. You can't. But that's quite uh, all right. I was like, I think Steve can go forward one, and then hit him with the ember, the fire spray. Light him up. Let me see if I can arrange myself. Because if I go here. That'll still keep me in range, and he might be able to be distracted by me if he tries to attack. <laughs> Yet another run! What, why, why are you running? It won't <laughs> save you! Why are you running? <laughs> oh! <laughs> well, I got nothing. Just light a on fire. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Burning three. Nice. That'll hurt. <laughs> Can you get up to him to hit him? No. <gasps> he stabbed you. I don't want to get up in his face because he's going to run. Come here. And he keeps <laughs> Quit running away, you bastard. 
He honestly might just die from the fire damage from Steve. I mean, he certainly will if we let him. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Oh, see ya. <laughs> He's going to chill out back here. I did my part. <laughs> discard, discard. Oh. I play the card Burning Trog. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Nice. Oh, I seriously moved one square out of range for this? Alright, fine. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I can do? Oh, yeah. You don't got any moves left now. <laughs> beep, beep. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that poor Trog. We just chased him down. <laughs> Hey, for those who just joined us from the raid at OG Brown Sugar, uh, we are playing Card Hunter. Card Hunter is a free game on Steam, and it's just an RPG that's a deck building game. It's just a lot of fun. What did I get? Anything useful? I got nothing. I keep getting armor. But I can't equip I've got it. armor, but I can't... Yeah, I've got armor, but I can't equip it because I'm still level 1. Looks like he heard us talking. Yeah, the same item that I already had. <laughs> oh. More drugs. Encounter. So now we have... Guy narrates like I do. A cacophonous caterwauling. <laughs> Encounter. So we have... What? One one spearman? Yeah, and, and two, two scuttlers. I got a whole lot of nothing to start this round. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Come around over on this side. This this terrain is horrible. Ah, scuttle. <laughs> yep, just like that. Oh god, damn! If we wow, pass it to Steve, he can just kill the one. Yeah, I'm good with that. Yeah, before it takes another stab at him. Because I don't have a heal up to give you, so. Yeah. Um, All of this rough terrain is a pain. I'm going Did you say to. It's uh, rough? Yeah. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> I, I, Do we want him to chase us? Here, so I know. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be a shield wall for you. I can't do anything, so I'm going to pass. I'm going to leave. Yeah. Good idea. That, that's, that's can you bad. can your burning fingers, can that get this spearman over here with staying out of his range? Maybe. Find out. When he, when he moves anywhere closer, yes. Mm. Mm. And he will. Oh shit, I'm gonna do something stupid. Get him. <laughs> I mean, you can almost kill him. Yeah. No. I'm gonna end the round. Do it. Goodbye, weak strike. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Cause you hit me. Oh, I can't get to you. Okay, I'm gonna have to oh, move just... so that I can. No, I'm oh, gonna so do you this. Just killed him. I know, but I had another plan. I should have yeah. killed him and then moved. Oh well. Yeah, you're you're good. 
I will let him come to us. Yeah, I'm let's do go that. Interpose with this fella. Good point. Good, good idea. Oh no! That's why I moved. I was trying to get close enough where I could heal everybody. No, you're good. Ooh. That's perfect. Smash. Get him! Scuttle, scuttle. Let's see, this is a range three, so I'm gonna want to be <laughs> not hitting your friend. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying you, to maneuver. If you so move I don't... to the rubble on the right wall. So what, one, two, three up and three to the right? You would just be able to blast him directly. That's tough. Yeah. Aha! Thanks for nice the tag card. Oh, you know what we're going to do? Hey! The armor blocked the one damage. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> You know, I right. kind of. Well, I guess we're what not going to the fire. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for getting into position, Steve. <laughs> Anytime. I'll just yeah, if you, if you head over right here. over there, smack. You can watch I as he dies. <laughs> Steve, Steve, if you stand over there, you can watch him die gloriously. <laughs> You're a bastard. You think you think I forgot about you? You came over here and hit me. Yep. At the, yeah, I'm gonna uh, come back and hit you again too. <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna pass you the ball. One of one of you two will murder. Him. Oh, he's definitely dead now. <laughs> I didn't have to use the hardest hitting card I had, but I'm gonna. But I wanted to. But I wanted to. <laughs> Level two. Incorrect. Yes. Woo. I can now wear some of that divine armor that I've got. Yeah. Ooh, let's be skill. I could wear armor. <laughs> Man, I've got so much stuff for the arcane. Whenever it comes time, boy, howdy! Whenever I can sell stuff, it's gonna be amazing. Whenever, whenever I can sell, I got so much stuff to sell. <laughs> I've got a bejeweled short sword that does like three p hack, vicious thrust, and a bludgeon. Powerful hack, powerful bludgeon, vicious thrust. Can't use it. Oh boy. We're heading to the lair of the Trog Wizard. Alright, I'm going to go to the armory and sell the treasure that I've got on me. Yep. I'm going to see yeah, if I can... Yeah, we can sell treasure just when we get treasure yeah um at the end of mission screen when you get the chest there's a little blue mm -hmm. box to the right of it if you get treasure oh, you yeah? can just drop it in there it'll sell it for you oh i didn't know that okay thank you absolutely i picked up a new ability called sure strike blessing attached to a target when target plays a melee attack that attack is unblockable and penetrating duration one or until triggered. Dude, you know I'm throwing that on you. <laughs> Especially if you get that big, big powerful hit thing going on. Oh, the big slap? Yeah. The overhead? That big slap. Yeah. I actually have some money to get some more weapons now. I could be a nuisance and just start doing all ranged attacks. <laughs> just oh, reach, no. of, reach of two. Reach of two. <laughs> I, I have a spear too. 
I think we're gonna do that for one of these. Yeah, we're gonna take that. We're gonna grab that. So we got some good stabs. I if I like that daily deal. It is kind of funny, though. You guys are adorable. <laughs> ah, I'm being assaulted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I could pick up some really nice armor, but it's probably a bad idea. Because it gives me a bad trait card. Reveal all attack cards in your hand. Take two piercing damage from each card revealed in this manner. I think I'm not going to do that. Instead. We're going to do that. Can I get some better shoes? Remind me what the uh, the socket next to, or is it just pinned there? For what? So like, whenever you're looking at your equipment on on your character sheet, mm -hmm. see how your spear has two has two dots next to it? Yes. So as we level up, you will be able to use power tokens. So the item okay, will have that's... a blue or a yellow dot on it. Mm-hmm. And that designates the different tiers of the weapons. Blue dots you'll unlock first, and then when you get higher up, you start getting the yellow ones that you can use. Yeah, okay, so the like the fusion rifle and the bejeweled short sword, it looks like, well, the fusion rifle looks like it has power token requirements. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. All right, good. Good to know. Let's get some disintegrating boots. Get a little bit more armor in there. And same here, actually. Ten, four, four, three, two, two. And. I think I'm going to keep those in there for now. Yeah. So we got some bludgeons, we got some stabs, and a bunch of armor. Let me know when you guys are ready, and I will pull us in. Ready when you are. Ready. Okay. To the Trog Wizard. Ah. Ah, at last. Yep, there's more Catterwall in here. Catterwalling. <laughs> this is no time to parlay. You must slay them. Ambush! Lusting for tasty man flesh. Could we not? That that's <laughs> that's a word for it, I guess. Oh man! First out of the bat, I get that. That uh, sure strike blessing on there. I can't really do a whole lot. Uh... I used oh. telekinesis earlier to move stuff around. So you have 
two trait cards in your hand, it's going to make you play both of them. Okay. You have three trait cards in your hand. It's going to make you play all of them. So you can't shoot anyone with a spell if they're within two squares for it's two rounds. Mostly... Arcane Curse okay. at the start. Oh no, that's just an attack. No, that's... That is... Oh, it isn't. Oh. Yeah. And it's so an if, you, if you use it and it says an attack, you don't have to worry about its effect. Okay, I thought that was another trade oh. card. I was like, hot damn! The game did was not happy with you. <laughs> um... I am going to attempt to shield our wizard. Yeah. If you like, you can shove me right up in there with telekinesis. Now, I'll, I used the telekinesis card earlier to pull an enemy to my warrior. <laughs> I moved yeah. his ass. <laughs> Come on down. Make him move to you. That's perfect. Oh no! What? Yeah, he stabbed me. It's the one down here at the bottom stabbed him. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> there you go, you have a card on you now. What was that? Next attack <laughs> is unblockable and penetrating. Well, nice. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Nice. Enjoy your corpse. <laughs> Where are you, you gonna move, move to? I'm gonna see what happens. There's no running. <laughs> <laughs> There's no crying in baseball. Oh no, your trait. You can't play magic cards within two squares of an enemy. Unless you roll a five or higher. I think that triggered and that was it. Cause... Yeah. Yeah. Well, I got nothing. Uh, I've just got a no, stab. I don't want to use the fire spray. <laughs> I'd hold on to it then. It'll yeah. it'll go away at the end of not this round, but the following. Oh, okay. So it only hangs out on you for two rounds. So after this one, it'll go away. <laughs> I mean, you have enough attacks, you could just try and wear through them. Don't worry, I've got you. See? Nice! Hey, it worked. That's right. the good stuff. I'm just going to hang out here and stare at this guy. I'm going to move over here. I'm going to wait, because you're... Looks like you're going to kill us. Yeah, you know exactly what I'm going to do. <laughs> oh, yeah. In that case, I'm going to try and get... No, second to be... No, it's not going to be view. Now what are you going to do? Are you going to run? He's going to move. Oh, he passed. Yeah. Oh, boy. What? Get him. Hey, fella. I don't know why you're not moving. You have a scuttle card. I can see it. Mm. That's it for me, though. Yep. There it is. I was like, did it give you nothing but... Like, I thought it gave you nothing but armor cards for a second there. Oh no, you became flammable! <laughs> oh god. The flame jet see. looks 
looks mean. Yeah. Tra <laughs> when you take fire damage, <laughs> add three to that damage. So don't catch on fire is what I'm hearing. As you're casting fire magic, don't worry. I'm fine. I'm fine. Um, I think Steve is just going to gonna murder this guy. I'm, I'm just gonna see what Steve's gonna do. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna hang back here. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna chill. Go for it, go for it. It's a, this is a Steve world. <laughs> Linear burning three for two rounds. <laughs> you did not stop that at all. <laughs> I stopped one of the damage. <laughs> oh, that's fair. You did stop one of the damage. Is that it? This yeah. armor is not great. I have to roll a five or a four for it to block anything. Oh god, the thick and rusty mount? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's the only armor I have access to right now, so... Gotta, gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Infinite damage. <laughs> Oh, to discard, yes. Uh, beep. <laughs> just, let's let the turret what is that? done. He's just done for. Just standing in the corner on fire, like... <sighs> Victory! You smashed him. Looks like they'll oh, be they'll going, be going, going hungry today. today. They're dead. Huh. Oh, wait. The final cavern is the sanctuary of the dread trog wizard known as Crundyup in his own tongue. The evil creature stands inside an arcane symbol etched onto the ground with a mysterious glowing substance. Crundyup sneers as you approach and barks a harsh order to his guards. The fray is joined. Defend yourselves. Actually, I should read it in the voice that they kind of have for this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Prepare for battle! Defend yourselves! My throat would be so mad at me. Oh, this one's an easy one to do. It's the, the deeper ones that start to hurt after a while. I can drop down comfortably, but my voice doesn't like to go up. All right. He points at you, and then at his mouth. I think it's a greeting. Oh, no! He's already combustible. <laughs> Just can't take fire damage, that's all. Don't worry, guys, I got the yeah, lantern. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Spills oil all over themselves. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, Come on, guys. I'm just going to haul ass up over here. Ah. Oh, no. <laughs> Mighty spark, eh? Just a straight mm -hmm. seven damage. Weird. But I like it. Yeah. Oh, Gary. Gary, Gary, Gary. What are we going to do with you, buddy? He's learning how to be a dungeon master. <laughs> oh, I'm going to just... Uh, can, I, can I throw this on you? I don't think you're within range. I'm... Uh, I'm in range of the healing pulse, but I'm out of line of sight from the holy friend, um, the frenzy. Yeah, I was looking to throw the holy frenzy on you. All right, I'm just going to yeah. throw it over to you. Bond. <laughs> <laughs> scuttle, scuttle. Thanks for getting in range. Ah. 
What the heck, Block? You're not doing anything. <laughs> just uh... holding up the shield, but over here. He's <laughs> just like holding it over his head to keep the sun out of his eyes. Yep. In the cave. <laughs> Oh no! My only face! Alright, now I'll throw it out there. <laughs> my only face! Not my face! Well, that poor Spearman is in for a bad time next round. He's pretty close to both you and the caster there. Mm hmm. If I can, I'm running for the wizard. Go for it. <laughs> you know, I see you, Steve, and I'm just going to watch this happen. I'm just going to move, like, right, Sean? And, you know, here you go, bud. <laughs> I, I see what you're doing. Get him. Um, I feel like we should let Steve move. I feel like that is a good idea. I mean, I could move, I could also telekinese, but. Yeah, because the one move. that just moved up. Go right over behind me. <laughs> yeah. Oh no! Well. I guess. Whoops. I mean. Not only am I putting. I'm going to throw can... one more frenzy on you. <laughs> I was just about to say they do <laughs> stack. You can absolutely do that. I want you to turn around and stab that spearman with everything you've got. <laughs> I mean, I can make him go.